Simon Fraser, 11th Lord Lovett was a Scottish nobleman and warrior who lived in the 18th century. He was the head of the Fraser clan and held a prominent position in Scottish society. Despite his noble standing, Lord Lovett's life was marked by controversy and conflict. In the mid-18th century, Britain was torn apart by political and religious divisions, and Lord Lovett found himself at the centre of a struggle between the Jacobite and Hanoverian factions. The Jacobites were a group of Scottish and Irish supporters of the Stuart dynasty who sought to restore James Stuart to the throne of England and Scotland. In 1745, the Jacobites launched a rebellion against the British government, and Lord Lovett was one of their leading supporters. He raised an army to support the Jacobite cause and was involved in several battles during the rebellion. However, the rebellion ultimately failed, and Lord Lovett was captured by the British government. In March 1747, Lord Lovett was put on trial for high treason in Westminster Hall. Despite his defence, the verdict was a foregone conclusion, and he was found guilty. He was sentenced to death by hanging, drawing, and quartering, but the sentence was later commuted to beheading by the king. On April 9, 1747, Lord Lovett was executed at Tower Hill, London. After his execution, Lord Lovett's body was interred in St. Peter at Vincula, the chapel attached to the Tower of London. However, family tradition claimed that his body was secretly removed and buried in the family mausoleum at Wardlaw near Inverness. This claim was fueled by the discovery of a lead-covered coffin in the crypt that bore a bronze nameplate in the name of Sir Simon Fraser. In 2018, the University of Dundee carried out an analysis of the bones within the coffin and found that they belonged to a young woman, not Simon Fraser. The current theory is that the coffin was prepared for Lord Lovett but was sent to Wardlaw when the government changed its mind. Investigations into the identity of the remains in the coffin continue to this day. Lord Lovett's legacy lives on, and his story continues to captivate audiences. He has been featured in several works of fiction, including John Buchan's novel A Lost Lady of Old Years, Neil Monroe's historical thriller The New Road, and Diana Gabaldon's Outlander series. Despite the controversy surrounding his life and death, Lord Lovett remains an intriguing and fascinating figure in Scotland's history.